days after returning to the United States after a fruitful visit to Kenya where he loaded efforts in combating climate change through investment in green energy. Kenya's becoming an engine for innovation on access to power where Kenya is developing clean energy that can reach more people. On the important issue of climate change where Kenya's recent goal to reduce its emissions has put it in the position of being a leader on the continent. President Barack Obama unveiled a climate change law that could put coal companies literally on the edge. I am here to say that if we want to protect our economy and our security and our children's health, we're going to have to do more. The science tells us we have to do more. This has been our focus these past six years. The new rule, generated by the Environmental Protection Agency, has set limits for carbon dioxide emissions especially from coal plants in the United States. In the new plan, President Obama is encouraging the use of zero-carbon sources, including geothermal, nuclear energy, solar, and wind energy. The regulation could kick off criticism over President Barack Obama's presidency, as Republicans in Congress contend that the new move on climate change is part of the administration's war on coal, even as the coal companies prepare for legal challenges that are likely to run for years. Obama is remaining firm on his commitment. The same characters who are going to be criticizing this plan were saying this is going to kill jobs. This is going to destroy businesses. This is going to hurt low-income people. It's going to be wildly expensive. And each time they were wrong. And because we pushed through, despite those scaremongering tactics, you can actually run in Los Angeles without choking. And folks can actually take a boat out on that river. The new plan gives states more credit for nuclear reactors to replace the traditional fossil fuels and represents one of the broadest forays by any president into environmental protection. Pundits too believe it will play a major role in Obama's legacy as well as demonstrating to other nations that the U.S. is taking action to combat climate change. That even further. I'll also be the first American president to visit the Alaskan Arctic, where our fellow Americans have already seen their communities devastated by melting ice and rising oceans, the impact on marine life. We're going to talk about what the world needs to do together to prevent the worst impacts of climate change before it's too late. The U.S. is the second biggest carbon emitter in the world, followed by China. UNEP Executive Director Akim Steiner in a statement said the commitment by the U.S. to turn to renewable energy sources in order to reduce emissions is a welcome move. For EcoWatch, I'm Judith Akolo.